pH curves to calculate pKa. One of the reasons for doing acid-base titrations is to work out the Ka of weak acids, uh, which you can do from titration curves. So if we have a weak acid, HA, with an unknown Ka, we can titrate this against a strong base to form A- and water. This would give a pH curve which starts low when there's only acid in the conical flask and rises as the acid is neutralized by the hydroxide. We can clearly see the equivalence point here where the pH rises sharply, which indicates that at this point the reaction was complete. Now if we look at the point when the reaction was only half complete, in other words when only half the neutralizing hydroxide had been added, this would be a point at which the amount of HA is the same as the amount of A- because half of it's reacted with the hydroxide and half of it remains unreacted. If we now write out the expression for the equilibrium constant Ka, this is H plus times A- minus divided by HA. However, at the point at which neutralization is half complete, the concentrations of A- minus and HA are the same, so they cancel out in this equation. Since Ka equals H plus concentration at this point, we can take logs and pKa equals pH. Therefore, we can read this off as the pH of the solution at which the reaction was half complete. Let's have a look at uh, an example. Here we have HF titrated against a strong base. The dotted lines show the equivalence point and the point at which the reaction is half complete and the pH at which the reaction was half complete was 3.3. So we can immediately say that the pKa of HF is 3.3. Here's another example with the ammonium ion NH4 plus titrated against a strong base. There's the equivalence point and the point of half reaction. And at the point of half reaction, the pH of the solution was 9.3. So therefore, we can say that the pKa of NH4 plus is 9.3. We can do this as a, a reaction of a conjugate base with a strong acid to give a, a weak uh, acid. In this example, we have HSiO3 minus plus H plus reacts to give H2SiO3. And we want to know the Ka of the weak acid H2SiO3. Here's the titration curve starting high due to the fact that we start with the base and then getting lower as we titrate against the acid. The equivalence point can be uh, clearly seen by the sharp drop in pH and I've put on there the half reaction point where half the H plus was added. At this point uh, the pH was 9.9 .9. so therefore the point when the solution had the same amount of HSiO3 minus and H2SiO3, uh, that pH was 9.9, .9, and we can say that uh, the pKa of that weak acid, H2SiO3, is the same as 9.9. .9. Mm. So uh, here's a question for you to have a think about. What are the two pKa values for the double deprotonation of H3PO4?